So we're back to our project of designing a new water bottle. We've interviewed a lot of the students who would be our users for the new water bottle, as well as the client. In talking with the students, they identified a lot of different features and functions that they would like to see in our new water bottle. Our next step is going to be to sift through these features and functions and potential differing priorities and try and sort and organize them. After interviewing some users and clients, we have a partial list of desired features they'd like to see in their new water bottle. First, some express that they'd like it to be easy to use. Next, most of them desire that the water bottle be safe. They want it to hold water, maintain the temperature of the liquid. They'd like it to be durable, low cost, aesthetically pleasing. Several users said they'd like it to be made of plastic. And finally, one user asked that it be blue. Wow, there are a lot of different features that the students identified. Typically, when you're designing an engineering product, you want to shoot from meeting four to six desired features. Plus, there's one thing on the list, being safe, that we need to talk about. When you're designing a water bottle, it shouldn't just be safe a little bit of the time, right? No. Or once? Not at all. So it probably has to be safe over the entire lifetime of the product. Right. The water bottle has to be safe all of the time. OK, so all the time is a little constraining, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. That's because safety is a constraint. Uh, and it's one of four desired features that you look for when you're designing a new product. The other three would be objectives, functions, and means. Let's define those four now. Objectives are desired characteristics or attributes of a solution. These are features that the users or the client wants. Constraints are a minimum set of features that the solution must have. If a constraint is not met, the design will fail. A common example of constraints are meeting all applicable regulatory or environmental laws. Functions are a task or an action that the solution must perform. It needs to define what the product can do. It's sometimes expressed as a verb. Basic functions must be met. Hand in hand with functions are means. Means are methods of achieving or implementing a particular function, such as the device must be made of a particular material. Means are solution dependent, and they identify specific choices that you must make about a design. Our next task is to organize these desired features into the four different categories we've just defined, objectives, constraints, functions, and means. Let's start by trying to describe what the water bottle will do, or the functions. Well, looking at this list, I see two that might be functions. Uh, one is holds water, and one is maintains temperature of the liquid. So in terms of holding water, that seems like an essential function. Water bottles have to hold water without leaking. All the time. All the time. So I think that holds water should be listed as a function. Maintains temperature, though, that doesn't seem like it's essential. I agree. I think that that's something that might be preferred. So therefore, that could be an objective and not a constraint or a function. Yeah, so let's put maintains temperature of the liquid then as an objective. What about safety? Well, we identified that the water bottle must be safe all of the time. So let's sort that as a constraint. Yes. I'm surprised that made of plastic and blue are on our list. These are options for achieving a particular function, and we could select just as many. They could be red, it could be yellow. Therefore, we're going to organize both of these as means. So aesthetically pleasing, easy to use, and durable, those seem like desired features. So those would be objectives or features that the users or the clients are interested in having in their water bottle. The one that's a little more tricky, I think, is low cost. Low cost can be pretty difficult to determine between an objective and a constraint for design teams. If you are designing a water bottle that is within the range of current prices of water bottles on the market, then price might not be what's driving your design, and it might be something else. Therefore, you can set price or low cost as an objective. So at this point, we've successfully sorted all of our desired features into objectives, constraints, functions, and means. Let's review where we've placed all of these. First of all, we have our objectives, which we've identified as easy to use, durable, aesthetically pleasing, low cost, and maintains temperature. Safety has been identified as a constraint, holds water, is a function, and we've placed made of plastic and blue in the means category. Sorting our list of desired features into objectives, constraints, functions, and means is just the first step in identifying how to move forward in designing our water bottle. 
let's hone in on the objectives and talk a little more about them. We have five objectives on our list, and it can be really difficult to design a water bottle where all five of the objectives receive equal weighting. We need a tool to rank, order, or identify which ones we should focus on and let the other ones matter less. As engineers, we have a tool called a pairwise comparison chart, or a PCC. The purpose of a PCC is to help prioritize or rank the desired objectives for a design project. PCC charts work particularly well when you have four to six objectives. If you end up with eight or ten objectives, you might consider going back to the client or the users and really talking with them. But if you can narrow your list down to four to six objectives, you're going to be able to use a pairwise comparison chart to rank and prioritize your objectives in order to move forward with your design.